Wow, this is going to be an incredible day. I love history, but I especially love the American Revolution. Hi there, let's talk about the figures of the American Revolution. Crispus Attucks was the first person killed in the Boston Massacre in Boston, Massachusetts, and he is widely considered the first American casualty in the American Revolutionary War. King George III was the British king during the Revolutionary Era. He's remembered as the British king who lost the American colony. Paul Revere was a silversmith and patriot that lived in Boston, Massachusetts. He's best known for his midnight ride, where he tried to warn the citizens of Lexington and Concord that British soldiers were actually coming. This is a 1781 drawing of an African-American 1st Rhode Island Regiment soldier. African-Americans played a pivotal role in the American Revolution. The Continental Army and the British Army promised African slaves that they would be given freedom if they would fight for their prospective side in the American Revolution. Ah, uh, George Washington, the father of our country. He was the commander-in-chief of the Continental Army during the American Revolution. He later became the first president of the United States. John Adams was a Massachusetts lawyer who served on the Declaration of Independence Committee, along with Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin. Before that, John Adams was a patriot who joined the protests against the Stamp Act. He later became second president of the United States. Thomas Jefferson was the principal author of the Declaration of Independence. Along with revisions from Benjamin Franklin and John Adams, he created one of the most important documents in American history. The Declaration of Independence formally separated the United States from England. Thomas Jefferson was also a gifted writer and scientist. He later became the third president of the United States. Benjamin Franklin was a jack of all trades. He could do a lot of things. He was a colonial leader that was also an inventor and a scientist. Benjamin Franklin helped create the Declaration of Independence. He helped revise it and edit it and make it a perfection alongside Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. Patrick Henry was a Virginia political leader that was known for this famous speech just before the American Revolution began. He had great patriotism. Benedict Arnold was one of General George Washington's most trusted officers. He became a traitor in the middle of the American Revolution and joined the British Army. But what about the ladies? This is Mary Ludwig Hayes, also known as Molly Pitcher. She is a woman who actually stood in place of her fallen husband during a battle in the American Revolution. Along with many other women, Molly Pitcher was a name given to women who would give water, give ammunition, and feed American soldiers in the American Revolution. Phyllis Wheatley was an African slave who actually became one of the most prominent voices of the American Revolution. Her poetry was actually recognized by General George Washington of the Continental Army. Well, that's our show. I wonder where I'm off to next. Hey there. Be sure to check us out on Teachers Pay Teachers, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. You most definitely have to stop by our YouTube channel, Bowtie Guy and Wife. Check out our blog at BowtieGuyandWife.com.